welcome to BS Garage. I'm Steve, and I have a problem. This last weekend while I was driving in the mountains, I came to the realization that my 2015 Audi S3 is not actually operating in all-wheel drive. I got stuck on an icy patch of driveway, and while the front tires were spinning freely, I wasn't getting any traction out of the rears at all. Go for it. Like nothing, right? If you follow the channel, you'll recall that a couple of months ago, Brenda and I did the rear differential Heldex service, where we changed the oil on the Heldex unit and cleaned out the filter. So did we mess that up? Is the car just front wheel drive now? Did we break components? This is what we have to figure out. I used an OBD2 dongle to read the fault codes off of the all wheel drive system in the S3. The fault code that came up points to an issue with the all wheel drive pump. You may be asking, what is an all-wheel drive pump? Does my car have an all-wheel drive pump? In these Volkswagen all-wheel drive MQB vehicles, so think like an S3, a Golf R, a Golf Alltrack, the all-wheel drive system is actually power taken off of the front-wheel drive system. So there's a drive shaft that runs to the back of the car, and then there's a differential with a lockup clutch that's actuated with an oil pump. So when the front wheels start to slip, that oil pump actually spins up and starts producing pressure, and that pressure locks a clutch pack, and that transfers torque to the rear wheels. But then what happens when that pump and motor aren't working? Well, your clutch can't lock up anymore, so you're stuck in front wheel drive. So what this probably means is that we have to go in and replace this pump altogether. But I was reading around, and it seems like with this particular code, it could also just point to a software calibration issue. So I'm going to take the S3 over to the local Volkswagen tuning shop and see if they can find anything with their more complicated computer system. There's supposed to be a learn sequence where you actually run the pump for a little bit to prime it, and if they do that, we should be able to hear and feel if the pump is actually operating or not. They would also be able to put it up in the air safely and check if all four wheels are spinning. So we're going to do that and hopefully we get some good news about the problems with the S3. Either the software calibration is going to fix it and I'll be on my way, or I'm going to be ordering a new pump and replacing that. Replacing the pump is a pretty easy fix, but I've still got my fingers crossed that it's just a software glitch. I'm going to head over to the tuner shop pretty soon and figure it out. So I just pulled up to my local tune shop and I'm going to run inside, ask them to diagnose the problem, and hopefully they can come back with some kind of result. Feedback from the shop was that they plugged it into the computer. They actually pulled the same code that I did, and that was the only code that they saw. But when they ran it through a pump on sequence, the pump did actually run. So it seems like it's not a bad Haldex pump, but maybe just a software issue. They said take it out, drive it around. If I have more problems, that it could be a firmware update that's required, and that I would have to go to an Audi dealer for that. So I'm going to go drive it around a bit and do some launches, see if I get any wheel spin. It's kind of a drizzly, wet day, so it should be a pretty good indication of performance. A little update on the road here. I started driving the car home, and at first it was just still wheel spin. Felt exactly the same. Um, so that was a big disappointment, but drove a little more, got most of the way home, and now Heldex seems to be working again, no wheel spin. So it seems like if you do the learn function on the VCDS software, and then you drive it a little bit, eventually it'll start working again. So very excited. It seems like I've been driving a front wheel drive car for quite a long time now. Very excited to have all wheel drive again. And yeah, I'm glad that it was an easy fix without a big replacement bill. All right, we're gonna roll on. And it just hooks up, no traction control, nothing. I'll try it again with traction control off and in sport mode. Look at that, drama free. Well, they say all's well that ends well. And I'm really glad to have all wheel drive in the S3 again. Based on the way it's driving right now, with no wheel slip off of a hard start and pushing through corners with really neutral handling where you can actually feel the rear wheels kicking in, it seems like I haven't had all-wheel drive in a long time. Based on how clean the oil was and the mesh screen during our Heldex service video, it 
seems like maybe I haven't had all-wheel drive since even before that service. All this time I thought that my traction was limited by my tires, but really it was just front-wheel drive. So I'm glad to have it working again, and now I can finally say that our Heldex service was a success. It seems like it's an important step to actually use VCDS or to take it to a local tuning shop to have that pump uh, reset and primed after you complete the service. So now that I have traction, what's next? I think we can go even faster. Still have yet to decide if I'm gonna tune it or not. There's a few other things that I wanna check out maintenance-wise just to make sure that everything is healthy before moving on to make more power. But the prospect of more power is always pretty appealing, especially if we're gonna be on the track more often. So I'm happy that this video came to a happy and a cheap resolution. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to BS Garage and ring the bell for notifications. We'll be doing more work on the S3 and the GTI and the Z3 and the Civic and the FZ and the Ruckus in future videos, and we've got some really exciting content coming up. So we hope you join us, and we'll see you next time.